What's going on guys? It's Headboy back with another video and today we will be discussing all the drama between the unreleased Titanic plushies and the Bespoke Plush Company. Today's gonna get juicy. You guys are gonna see many unreleased Titanic plushies that may come out or may not. Anyways, let's get into this video. I'm on Twitter and the reason for this is to actually look up Preston leaked address Preston's leaked address there we go now if I click this I will actually find a lot of drama regarding bespoke plush in Preston if I click this for instance I can see that that right there is Preston's address 6000 Columbus Avenue and his apartment room is on the 21st floor in room 11 in case you're wondering this is actually the apartment he lives at look through the pictures level 29 wow that's massive luxury apartments it's a huge swimming pool a gym wow yeah some of the leaked pictures kind of look like this that's insane he lives on the 21st floor just scroll through these pictures wow that's beautiful he lives in Plano Texas and the funny thing is I actually live only 30 minutes away from him and we can see that the lucky cat plush the tidy net lucky only cost $17 to make he actually released 12,500 of them which is crazy to think how he marks them up $250 it only cost him $17 to make. And then another one is the small one, which cost him $8 to make. Then we got the Hippo Melon. Apparently, a hundred of these were released. And it cost him $42 for all of them. But he makes about $500,000 ish, just selling two plushies for $250 each, which is insane to think about. His re Preston's real name is Preston Parks. And Bespoke plush was originally selling the plushies. Anyway, there's a lot of drama here. I looked up Bespoke Pet Simex plushie Twitter, and I found this. If I click it, so they're actually selling Pet Simex plushies right here. They will sell them no coats. If I click this Google Drive, this is where things get juicy. Let's just click the Angry Yeti. And there's the Angry Yeti plushie. Unreleased. It's kind of crazy. You even have the Big Games tag. So these were originally supposed to be released. Huge Axolotl plushie. Unreleased. That one actually look, looks really cool. And they said you could buy them. Big Games might release something like this. I don't know when though. If I go to like Bread Sheba. This one looks really cool. This one was about to be released on the Big Games website. Right before they had drama. This one's actually really cool. I would definitely buy this if it came out. But this was supposed to be a Titanic bread sheba. But since the drama happened, they couldn't they couldn't be released. If I go down to like the pinata cat plushie. Let's check out this one. That one actually looks pretty cool. I would probably buy that one also. Titanic Pinata Cat. It's pretty cool. These are all plushies. Hmm. What about Titanic Sad Cat? Here's the small one. That actually looks pretty cool. Rainbow Cat. What's this one? Oh, that's the Titanic Tide Cat. That's kind of cool, honestly. They originally made these. Here's a different version, I guess. That one actually might be the Titanic. Not sure. But 
yeah, there's a ton of drama here. Every single one of these were originally supposed to be either huge plushies or titanic plushies. What about the ghost? What is that? A fluffy cat. What is that? I mean, that actually looks pretty cool. There is a huge fluffy cat in the game right now. This looks like a titanic, though. Titanic fluffy cat. That would be pretty cool. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe. And comment down your Roblox username. Because I will be giving away this Titanic Jolly Cat once I reach 100 subscribers. Thank <laughs> you.